Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look, and this is something I just kind of thought up, and I was watching Big Brother and playing around with makeup. I do that actually pretty frequently. Um, but yeah, so I decided to just do a just um, color on the bottom eyelashes. Now, when I first did this uh, on the bottom lid, I mean, um, so when I first did this look, I actually did it without the false eyelashes on, and then last second, you'll see when I do the tutorial, I decided to put those on. Um, but yeah, so I just think it's a kind of a fun way. I feel like the purple and blue goes really good with my hair, and then also black lips because, I don't know, I was feeling black lips tonight. Um, surprisingly, I... A lot of people ask me, like, do you wear these makeup looks out? I actually wore blue lipstick out um, not too long ago when I first got my package in from OCC. Um, I wore, R I think it's called RX, yes. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I wore this lip tar out to party with my friends, and um, yeah, and everyone liked it. And I actually ended up asking a group of people it's one of those nights where like you go to one friend's house and then you go to another friend's house to pick up more people and then you kind of end up at the bar and you end up at a club and then blah 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 so in the process of the night i ended up in this kitchen full of random people that i didn't know and i well i somewhat knew them and they knew friends of mine so i asked them straight up i was like listen people how do you feel about me pulling off blue lipstick and they're like yeah like you can totally rock it so just do whatever you want to do. If you're comfortable wearing blue lipstick out, do it. If you're comfortable wearing black lipstick out, do it. Um, the worst thing that can happen is someone can make fun of you, and really, who cares? If you're confident enough to wear it out, you can be confident enough to just brush it off. Um, yeah, so for the most part, I just get good reception or, or good feedback back from people being like, oh, cool, you know, like, I can't believe you're going to rock like blue lipstick out. Um, Anyway, that being said, so yes, I do often wear stuff like this out. I don't know if I'd necessarily wear both the eyes and the lips because this is just a little extreme for me. It's um, more kind of channeling, sort of punky, edgier kind of look. Um, yeah, but anyway. If you guys want to know how to do it, then just stay tuned and here's the tutorial. Okay, so to start off this eye look, I just went ahead and actually put a little bit of concealer through my brows. This is optional, you don't have to do this. Um, I really like the look of bleached eyebrows, but I'm not willing to make that commitment because it's just, uh, um, <laughs> it's just not my thing and I'm just really sketched out about it. So I just ran a little bit of concealer through my brows and then the next thing that I did is I primed my eye, um, my eyelid and underneath as well with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take um, my face powder. You can use like a cream based eyeshadow depending on your complexion. Um, just something to completely like blank out my uh, eyelid because um, I'm getting like a little bit of veining showing through my eyelids. Um, it happens. I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my personal face powder and just on a brush and just kind of dust that all over. Then the next thing that I did was I worked on the bottom part and the bottom I wanted just like a bright blue purple and for this I'm using Sugar Pill of course. Now this is, I would just like to show you what I've done. Um, I have all three Sugar Pill palettes and I've organized mine based on color. They do not come like this so if you see me use them um, it would technically go you know like this and then the last one being this one. Um, I just do it this way so that it's easier for me to grab rainbow colored palettes with similar shadows. Um, yeah, so anyway, if you're wondering, that's kind of what that deal is about. But I'm going to be using um, this one, which is Velocity. This one, which is Poison Plum. And then Dolly Pop for the pink. And basically a mix of those three eyeshadows. So the first thing that I did is I just took um, the Velocity which is the Royal Blue and got that on my brush and this is just gonna go right underneath my eye and I kinda like to follow a little bit of that inner um, line that goes down from my eyes so I just kind of put a little bit of a line there. I'm not gonna make it super noticeable once I blend everything out but it kinda just makes that sort of shape um, you want to do it just based on your own eye shape. And then I just continued this line just the slightest bit out. So then after that I just took um, Poison Plum. 
is the darkest purple and this is going kind of right on top of it and then once I applied that I kind of wanted to add in the black to see how it looks so I'm just gonna go and do that step so for that I'm using feline eye coal from Mac and I'm applying this to my bottom waterline and also tight rimming the upper um, waterline as well and then once that line of eyeliner is on I applied just a little bit right underneath I'm gonna take the same brush and kind of just blend that dark black into the bottom um, eyeshadow so it makes that nice kind of dark dark corner part and then I'm gonna start adding in the pink which is the dolly pop this is really gonna make it pop <laughs> and um, I like just kind of applied it where I saw fit I'm just gonna try to make it even on both sides and then once you get the eyeshadow to your liking the next thing that I did is I just applied a massive massive coat of mascara and um, yeah Okay, and then once I'm done with mascara, that's kind of how I finished it. I'd like to add that I just kind of blended just a little bit more black just right on my outer corner just to kind of bring my eyes into that even more like sleepy-ish kind of look. Um, I really like this. Kind of makes you look somewhat high, but whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to zoom out and show you different options to do for face and then for face I actually just took a little bit of this color this is I think it's 2am from Sugar Pal so I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a fluffy brush and kind of use it sort of as a face blush contour okay so with the cheeks it should end up looking somewhat like that um, I decided that for lips I want to go black because I have a black lip tear that I'm like dying to put on my face um, so I'm actually just going to outline my lips with um, feline eye coal from MAC if you're not comfortable using an eyeliner on your lips then I suggest like a very very dark um, like uh, purple lip liner but I'm just gonna go ahead and use a black eyeliner because I don't care and um, yeah so then once that lip liner is on, or eyeliner, I'm just going to take a little bit of OCC Lip Tar in Tard, I think, is what it's called. You need legit the smallest amount of this, like, that's too much. <laughs> like, I don't even know who... Please, if you're a makeup artist and you've used an entire one of these, please explain to me how that is even humanly possible. And then I'm just going to take just, like, a little brush and then just apply that on top. Okay, and then once the lips are on, that is the final look. It's kind of, I don't know what the hell to call this. Um, I think it's kind of, reminds me of like, acid punk or some shit, I don't know. I literally don't know what I'm doing with my life right now. But for some reason I dyed my hair green and I'm like, punk, or my version of punk, if you, if you will. Um, but yeah, so I would actually wear this out because I have green hair now, so I don't give a fuck, obviously, but um, <laughs> yeah, so I think it would be kind of interesting to wear it out, see what people's reactions are. Um, yeah, so knowing Natasha, um, I'm going to actually amp this up uh, one step just because I want to see what it looks like. So I'm going to apply some false eyelashes. I'm going to use these ones from MAC. I think these are like 44s. I'm going to apply them just to see what it looks like. Okay, and then once I just put these eyelashes on, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, the eyelashes don't look the greatest because I actually didn't put like any sort of black eyeliner between the gaps of my own eyelashes. Whatevs. We're just doing it for show. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what the finished look looks like. I rather like it. I think it looks cool with my hair. Um, it's kind of fun. So... Uh, yeah, if you happen to like this, let me know. If you try something out with some sort of like dramatic color um, on the bottom and kind of a blank eye, let me know. Um, leave it as a video response. I would gladly accept it if you guys try it out. Same thing goes with any of my other makeup tutorials. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see pictures and stuff, follow me on Instagram because I uh, kind of live on there now. So um, my Instagram is my eyeshadow is odd, as is my Twitter. So yeah, you can check me out there. Um, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and until my next video, I'll talk to all of you soon.